I am currently doing a giveaway for Anthem the game. There's not long now till the competition ends. So if you want to be in with a chance to win it, simply click on the link in the description below or on the pinned comment for a chance to enter. Nothing else. Thanks everyone. On with the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video and today I'm going to be talking about the microtransaction store and the launch woes that are going on. It seems that currently in the world of Anthem, with the early release, much like the demo, the amount of currency you get is pretty much screwed. Some people are starting with 40,000, as you can see from this image, some are starting with 80, some are even starting with as high as 200,000 coins. Now it's clear this is a bug, much like the demo, but whether Bioware will remove these coins or compensate the rest to increase it to the same level as everyone is yet to be unknown. It is assumed at this point that 40k is the medium that you're supposed to start at. The fact that they're giving you any coins is pretty awesome if you ask me. The big question was around the skins, where they were charging 2,000 shards for the skins and people were assuming it was £1 to 100 shards. Well, that conversion is pretty much correct. However, as you can see from the pricing, it has changed. It is now 850 shards. So for a full skin with all platings, head, arms, body, legs, it is £8.50 for a full skin. If you look at the fabric, it's £3. The graphic for the shields are £3. The emotes are £4. The styling plates, again, are £3. So it's pretty proportional. When you look at the amount of coins you need, it's 12,000 for the cosmetic colouring stuff and plating stuff, it's 12,000 for graphics and 18,000 for emotes. What is clearly outpriced is the skins. Now these are 61,000. Now obviously we don't know how much we're going to be getting in the game. The first few weeks will pretty much be showering you with coins to give you that feel good factor. They're going to be giving you so much coins in the first two, three weeks, four weeks, until we completely exhaust all these funds of coming in, we won't get a true picture of how much we can actually earn relatively easily every week. So until we finish exhausting all of those avenues and get down to the crux of what we will generally be earning every week through alliances, through daily quests, weekly quests, monthly quests, we won't get a full picture, so expect this to be more apparent in the next 3-4 weeks. But with that said, these pricings aren't bad. In comparison to other games, Destiny charges you £11 for an emote. The Iron Banner emote is pretty much £11. This here is £4. I think this is relatively fair. But the skins will be the one that breaks the icing. And to be honest, £8.50 for a skin isn't too bad. With the 6 to 1000 it is engineered in a way to make you want to spend. So if you do see something, for you to spend and buy it. You can earn those 6 to 1000 coins, sure. And they are giving you 40000 or 80,000 or up to 200,000 if you're lucky enough with the bug to actually get this. But with that being said, the whole debate that was surrounding this regarding the whole $20 for a skin, £20 for a skin, like I said from the very beginning, it was all bogus information based on one picture that someone decided to release early and not only breach the NDA, but just spread false information around. Now I know a lot of people out there are going to turn around and say the community won again. The community didn't win Jack. The simple fact is we didn't know and what we don't know, we don't know. But a credit of common sense would have told anyone that up until the final point they were never going to finalise the pricings. And I think the pricing that they have now is okay. I'll revisit this again in about 3-4 weeks so I get a better picture and can give you guys all a better understanding. So, launch woes. Well, not only are there server problems for some trying to log in, which wasn't unexpected, by the way, because, well, everyone is trying to get in. But, what is crazy right now is the bugs that are appearing. There are those out there that are only able to unlock one javelin once getting to level 2, some are unlocking 3, some are unlocking all 4. It's clear that these bugs will be ironed out come the 22nd. For those of you wondering how to unlock the Legion of Dawn pre-order bonuses, it's quite simple. Follow these three easy steps and you'll claim your reward. Number one, play and complete the Prospero mission. Number two, open the store and check the rewards tab. And number three, claim your rewards. It's that simple. 
I assume this is done this way because it's story related, which I won't be getting into, but rest assured, the fact that you don't have it straight from launch is because you do need to play up until and complete the Prospera mission. Enjoy your pre-order bonuses, freelancers. For those of you wondering how to unlock the Legion of Dawn pre-order bonuses, it's quite simple. Follow these three easy steps and you'll claim your reward. Number one, play and complete the Prospera mission. Number two, open the store and check the rewards tab. And number three, claim your rewards. It's that simple. I assume this is done this way because it's story related, which I won't be getting into, but rest assured, the fact that you don't have it straight from launch is because you do need to play up until and complete the Prospera mission. Enjoy your pre-order bonuses, freelancers. More and more stuff are coming out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and I will keep you guys all appraised. I will be streaming a bit of this tomorrow on the Xbox One platform and hopefully I'll see a bunch of you online. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. You can join me on Discord. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for honest views on Anthem. All links in the description below. Until next time, remain legend.